Good morning, this is Norm with Such Voting. I'm a bare bones radio broadcaster. You don't need to see my face, and thank you very much. YouTube, thank you. I'm giving this planet an interrogation right now, and it's just the prelude of what your grandchildren are going to offer you. All this tone of voice and everything about me is coming. Hell bent for election. Are you ready for some elections? Because you're going to get them. Elections you've never heard or seen before. Nothing like what you're seeing right now. There's going to be some doozy elections coming. Want to bet? Because the conversation's backing up. On the elections, they're going to get fine and dandy. I exci- It's so exciting, I don't know what to say. You talk about the good news. Ha! We're going to have some elections, finally. And there ain't been an election yet with this planet ever. You think there's ever been an election yet? Not one. Ever. Some elections are coming. It's so exciting, and your great grandchildren are going to bring them to you. I hope you ain't alive. Because they're going to interrogate you like this and then some. And ask you why you didn't say anything. It was so obvious and so what? Well, they would have hurt me. So what? Would you rather die the mob pulling you apart for saying something lovely or cancer? Which one? And you got cancer because you wouldn't speak. Not because you spoke. What would you rather face your maker doing? Saul or David? When both blew it the same. I feel sorry for David. He'll be compared to Saul and just plain ridiculed out of sight. Want a bet? Saul never stood a chance. Did he? <laughs> Was there one duty-bound human being ever around King Saul? Ever. Which one? The ones that prepared him? Were they duty bound? What prepared Saul? Duty? Honesty? Generosity prepared Saul? Did it? I sympathize with anybody comparing the two, Saul and David. And believe you me, it won't be this comparison you hear now. It'll be the ones that have compared the two all during society, I've all heard all my life. I'm so full of baloney, it ain't even a funny. Mocking Saul and worshiping David, you will have one hell of a problem facing your maker. Because they're both a product of circumstances and situations and occurrences that, believe me, neither one of you have paid any attention to. And that's what will be reminded to you. What built both of them. One creator will be reminding you of what built both of them. And... and the difference, if there was any, between the two and how you celebrated it. Everybody's life only depends on how the rest celebrate it. You point at these lives, how about you? What are you doing with the life? What are you doing with your own because of it? Names and dates. Bah! Are never known to what matters.